Aquarius, hello my loves and welcome back to the channel. Supreme gratitude for clicking on the video. Your support really means a lot to me. So we are going to tap into your energy uh, reading for today. You can have Aquarius in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or north node, okay? Um, keep in mind this is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. Energy is fluid, reverse the roles as need be, okay? Um, if you would like a personal reading, please click the description box below. Visit my website to book your personal reading. Also, uh, there's items available on the website. We are pulling things together, putting items up. So right now you do have the spiritual cleansing baths that are available on the website, okay? Please make sure that you support my new book, Spiritual Goddess the Spiritualist. It will be out March 1st. You can go to the community tab and find the link to pre-order uh, the book on Amazon. I'm working on... Um, Amazon. I'm working on iPhone, um, Apple Books. That's what I'm working on now. I'm waiting on them to uh, approve some stuff, and uh, then we're gonna put it on uh, Apple and Amazon. Just not sure yet. All right. All right. Spirit God sense. Let's just please provide me a message for the collective Aquarius. What's in there? Energy spirit. Aquarius need to know right now. Your first card that came out, Aquarius, is choose freedom, okay? Contemplation, the number 15 or the number 6, being held back by fear and anxiety, okay? Uh, sometimes you may feel as though your way is blocked, but often that's just an illusion. You can free yourself from obstacles that you're so focused on by choosing a different path. Turn your thoughts away from negativity and instead envision endless, endless other possibilities you might act upon, right? So if you are in your head about something, feeling like you can't move away from something, you can't, uh, uh, you can't, you can't, you can't, right? The word can't is already like uh, a negative illusion, right? You're thinking negatively of yourself when you use the word can't, right? Because you can do anything that you put your mind to doing, right? It, it, it's all in you. So... Stop limiting yourself, okay? You do have positive recognition here as well, Aquarius. Yay! Number 19, which breaks down to 10, okay? Uh, a cycle a cycle ending, you know, in your life. Congratulations, your plans have worked out perfectly, and now it's time to shine. Brilliant new ideals will present themselves to you, and success is about is all but assured. Express yourself openly and honestly, knowing that those surrounding you are trustworthy. Be open to unexpected opportunities, okay? So, Ashe, uh, Aqua, that's some good news. Aqua, like, I can use some good news, SG. <laughs> All right, so let's see. for the collective of Aquarius. Six of Wands here, recognition, okay? Page of Swords in reverse. Knight of Wands. Three of Cups, Five of Cups in Reverse, Hangman, Four of Swords, Ace of Wands, Queen of Cups, Ace of Cups, Five of Pentacles, Eight of Cups in Reverse, Strip Card,
right, so I see a couple different things going on just off T.O.P. Don't ask me why I did so many cards. I went until Spirit told me to stop, okay? So, again, I do see some type of recognition coming for you, Aquarius. Some type of um, acknowledgement, reward, all right? Uh, you could get, like, a lot of recognition on social media, okay, with a lot of people, all right, something that you're doing, a lot of people will be congratulating you on, okay? So a lot of congratulatory energy, all right? Page of Swords is in reverse here. So some of you guys uh, could find out that you are not pregnant. Some of you guys uh, some of you guys could find out you're not pregnant and someone could be celebrating or you're finding out that you are pregnant and there's some type of celebration happening here. Um, Cause the page is like a teenager and this is like not a teenager here. This is like, you know, this is, this is not like a, a bigger child. Okay. So if you are finding out that you are pregnant, congratulations on that. Some of you guys are like, what the hell is going on? Okay. Um, fire energy. You could be dealing with uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person could have it in a prominent placement in the chart. This person could be younger than you because you got the queen of cups and you got the knight of wands. So this person could be younger than you, passionate, but a player in and out doing things differently okay uh i see you guys celebrating there's some type of celebration happening here but someone is like someone was thinking that they were losing you or you thought that you were losing someone and they're like oh my god like <laughs> i don't want to say like somebody feel like they trapped you i don't want to say that i just want to say like Whatever this is, it's like you may have, somebody may have thought that like they were losing you and then it's not, right? But you do have the hangman energy here. So somebody's really thinking. I feel like you are pausing thinking about something. Um, you may get some news, right? And you're, you're thinking about it. Like what should you do from here, right? Like you're not taking any action. Like you're just, you're just waiting. You're like, okay, what do I do? Okay, if you could be waiting on some type of results or waiting on some type of information here. Some of you guys, you, you, whatever you're waiting on, like you're not gonna, you're not going to, you're not going to get the news that you want. Or once you get this information, like nothing's going to change. And that's going to be the bad part about it. Queen of Cups energy here, okay? So either you're coming in as a, uh, the Knight of Wands or the Queen of Cups, right? Figure out how it goes. But uh, the Queen of Cups, the feminine energy is older, okay? A lot of love, very nurturing mother figure right next to the Ace of Cups. But <laughs> you got the Five of Pentacles right here. It's, it's, it's like, it's, it's like you want to renew the love and you want the situation to go one way, but like someone could be leaving you out in the cold or this could be you leaving someone out in the cold. Like someone is, someone is being left out in the cold, but like not walking away like someone could be like pulling their energy back just changing up how they move when it come to you but then someone is not walking away like it's the, this could be you if you're coming up as the queen of cups it's like you're still not walking away right you you don't have the strength and the courage to walk away you're just still trying to manifest stability when it comes to this situation so something has completely changed here Mm. Okay. Let's see. Let me know what this. One energy has changed. The other energy has not. Somebody's definitely a pair. Yeah, chariot is in reverse. So it's kind of like 
not getting the outcome that you you wanted okay not getting the outcome that you want emotionally especially like if something is changing within the situation in itself you're finding out some type of news like this is still like this it, it, it's like two people that's not going anywhere or two people that won't stop dealing with each other but yet it's it's, it's other stuff going on and it's like this this it's like this person feels like okay you're not you, you let me do it so i'm gonna do it right but this person is very routine so now you have the knight of pentacles here so this person could have fire and earth in their chart, but this person has multiple lovers. They're giving to multiple people here. This isn't this isn't something new here. This is something that this person has been doing. This person has had multiple choices, giving to multiple people, but yet trying to defend themselves and argue, hey, it's not like that. I feel like this person is lying to your face. This person is a gaslighter. This person is a narcissist with the seven of wands here. Ace of uh, Pentacles is in reverse. Like, it's, it's not working this time. Like, they could have, like, played games before, but it's not working this time. So, you have a decision to make in reference to this situation. Like, you know, what are you going to do? I feel like you're overthinking the process. You could be leaning more on how much work that you put in a situation. How much work you put in a situation and it's no movement. It's not going in your favor. Yep, devil. Capricorn Energy. You're feeling trapped and bound to someone here. But Queen of Swords, like, I feel like you, you're you at the point now where you're bitter, you're angry, you're hurt, you're mad. Queen of Queen of Swords in reverse, that's a biatch. She is, like, going off. She is tripping. Queen of Swords is also a liar. Yeah. So, what are you lying about? Yeah. <laughs> Upwards, what are you lying about? Someone is toxic. Okay. You could be telling this person like, oh, well, I'm, I haven't done, dealt with anybody. And you have. You've had multiple options. I don't have anybody. I don't have any options. You do. You have multiple options. It's like somebody has options, but they are not dealing with them currently so you could think that someone has like all of these options right now they could think that you have all of these options but you currently do not Ooh. yeah it's a lot of it's a lot of the unknown here like someone is like how do I figure this out? A lot of unknown, um, not getting what it is that you want, not getting the connection, not getting the equal reciprocity, right? This person is not matching your energy. This person could be juggling you, but the cycle is still not over, right? The cycle will only be over when someone learns a lesson and fully closes the door. Someone could be having money issues, but yet they still spending money. Aquarius, that could be you. Not even so much of money issues, but like maybe like living in the moment, not planning for the future right now. Ooh, let's see. All right, spirit. Tell me more about this situation. Okay. Is there a children or a child involved in this situation? Oh, shit. Let's see. Yeah, it's juggling. No balance. Like, the person wants balance or somebody wants balance here, but somebody is juggling. Somebody's being juggled. Somebody's being juggled and they really don't care.
they could like not be taking action on this right here or you're not taking action uh the conversation could be going one way okay someone is like standing up for themselves like just saying what they're saying like this is what this, this is what i'm telling you like they're they're sticking to their story here I feel like things will will work out for you and this person because now eventually they're coming in as the king of cups and you have the ten of pinnacles. So the cycle isn't over. Like there's some type of understanding that you guys will end up having a sudden ending that will bring a tower in the sun. So something is going to end suddenly, right? To, to For you guys to be happy. Yeah, so so you guys are gonna come out of this energy. Yeah. Once you find out like there's not a third party here or this person stops doing what they're doing, you got the king of cups and the queen of cups. You guys are gonna match each other's energy here. Okay. And something is happening. Uh and not to say like this person definitely uh had a third party, but they may be ending things with the third party just to make the situation right. Um, but it's a lot. <laughs> Let me see. Yeah, it's a, it's a lot. Like it's it's kind of like it will eventually balance out. It's almost like you know, King of Cups, Queen of Cups, like a twin flame in the Matrix, right? Like you go through a lot with this person to get to where the fuck you need to be, you know? So it's like being in the Matrix with this person. Oops. Eventually, you get what you want. <laughs> Eventually. Ooh, lessons from Neptune, the planet of illusions. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Spiritual mission. This connection uh supports energy healing on Gaia and higher realms. Yeah. Divine feminine. So the Queen of Cups, the one that exudes all of this love, okay, that's very nurturing and caring. That's you. You are the divine feminine, right? So this is this is a divine connection, right? And and I'm, again, I'm getting like your twin flame in the matrix, right? You are the divine counterpart, right? So this person more so will never meet someone else like you, okay? Divine detours are divine interventions are delays, um, divine interventions, delays, and detours. Things are happening right now because things have to get right so this person can be what they need to be for you. But I feel as though you're not taking that way because betrayal. Trust this part of your journey. You feel as though this person has betrayed you sleeping with other people doing whatever this is third party coming along you feel betrayed reflect we attract soulmates based on the lessons we need to learn for growth is this hindering you or supporting you i told you this is like a twin flame like definitely definitely a soulmate so is this hindering you or helping you what is it that you need to learn okay retreat now for important self-care so you know get yourself right unresolved wounds comic patterns and inheritance are affecting this situation so if, if it's not you okay you're the divine feminine this person or you know has things that they have to get right and vice versa if you are the divine if you are the uh if you are the the person and you're dealing with the divine feminine you got to work on things with you lessons from neptune denial illusion and deception of self or by another self-love boundaries and detachment are important so you know the illusion like if somebody's playing it's like it's a narcissist okay and again we don't like to play, use these names but this is someone that is gaslighting you on purpose right so this person is in your energy they're gaslighting you on purpose they're being very manipulative with that particular card because they don't want to lose you but then they're not going to tell you the truth you and this person if you want it you guys will balance out some, somewhere down the line. You just got to have patience and have faith. Keep praying for it, I guess. <laughs> I share Aquarius.